I leveled myself up. I reattuned my spells. So I have more usable spells now. And we're going to go back into Ellie Lois. So you mentioned when I was re-equipping all of my stuff, which, by the way, I re equip myself with no lightning because lightning is terrible now. It's like, I can use dark, so lightning is pointless. And yes, we are literally going back the same way as we did before. So yeah, when I was saying you were equipping weapons and blah blah blah, so I was like, hey, you have a scythe. That's cool. That scythe is like three times as long as you are tall. <laughs> and then you seem to suggest that that thing is actually revealing in some way <laughs> of how important it is. Uh, I didn't catch on, but um, we seem to be having a really good conversation about weapons, but then we are having it off camera, and we're like, oh no, we need to save that for the Let's Play. And now I don't remember what we were talking about. Way to, th way to throw me under the bus, Chicho. <laughs> But no, you were asking me about, um, like, the effectiveness. Of right, stuff. the effectiveness, like, yes. Oh, no, 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 no. Let me restate my question now that I remember it. Like, with so many weapons that are available, why is it that so many of them just seem inadequate and so there's no point in using well, them? Well, when you say, like, they seem in inadequate and there's no point in using them, how exactly do you mean that? Well, perhaps it's just I see you using a very narrow scope of weapons. Well, that's because how I play these games is I like to pick a weapon and stick with it. Okay. So, like, I like using this weapon with this guy. I could use a bunch of other stuff if I wanted to. I don't really want to, because I don't like switching my weapons. Okay. If I wanted to, like, do a guy specializing in scythes, I would just make a new character. So it's not so much that you pick the most powerful weapon, but you just pick a particular weapon that you like? Yeah. Irrelevant of the stats? Well, in most weapons even themselves out, which is one of the things I really like about these games. Okay. Because, like, a dagger might do way less damage, but it does way more DPS. Mm -hmm. So, like, if you get next to a guy, you can attack him ten times with a dagger. Yeah. That's another spell I have not used yet, Soul Flash. I think it works like um, Wrath of God, like the giant sort of just boom area of effect thing. Boom. And, but it is magic-based. When you climb up the ladder fast, it looks like you're just hitting fast forward. So, when you said you want me to... You also mentioned you might want me to try some new armor. Well, I just got uh, a mage armor set. I'm not going to unequip this, because this is like my central piece of armor, and it gives me more casts on yeah. my spells. Yeah. So, but I got the North Warder armor. Which actually looks pretty good. It makes sense for all the snow. It looks very warm. So, I will... Let's look at some of the other pieces. Uh, showing off a little skin on the arms. I don't like that as much, but I'd rather go back to my gauntlets. So this is what the full set looks like. And your pants Minus look dumb helmet. and your gloves look dumb. Well, I'll go. I'll equip my cool stuff then again. Oops. Blah, 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 There you go. That's a good, that's a good look. Just I'll do look it for a while. while. Your, your headpiece does look a little off, but... But, I mean, we can justify See, the thing it is, because... Yeah, well, it's black and white, too, so it does kind of go with, like, everything a little bit. It's got the right color scheme. There's more white than Fashion black, souls. Though. Dark fashion. No, fas fashion souls. Oh. Is ac fashion souls is actually a term used to uh, denote stuff that you wear because it looks cool and you want to be cool, rather than it being good. Okay. So the lady withheld all the ice and snow, right? So yeah, so the blizzard's gone now. So a bunch of stuff has changed. Only you still can't interact with whatever that thing was. Can you just, like, physically... What? Nope, you can't interact with them. Okay. They so are enemies now. Well, a lot of... Really? I thought they were going to be like a These are actually the priestesses. Priestesses. Um, and I believe they aggro you after you steal that eye. Oh, really? Yeah. Even when the snow is gone? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, they're pissed off I, like, desecrated their graves, basically. <laughs> Which, let's face it, that's a legitimate reason for them to be pissed off. Yeah. Unless they would be willing to be civil and talk and figure out why you're doing things. And then they oh, we'll help you. These dogs are about to kill me. Scarier than... That's scarier than the dogs in Resident Evil with the horrible camera angles. That's a lie. Nothing freaked me out more than that when I was a kid. 
back in the day. I don't know if you got that. Oddly enough, my staffs, they all scale with magic, and they actually do, like, physical damage to stuff if I hit them with it. Mm -hmm. And since this guy's magic stats are so high, they're actually pretty good, like, as weapons. Like? Like, I do a comparable amount of damage to this as I would with a lot of weapons. It's just they're not, these aren't durable enough. Oh, I should probably heal. So you have to walk past and wait? Oh, no, there you go. Yeah, if you just walk past and leave them here, they might aggro, or you can just kill them. Are they still, like, frozen, so... She's, like, taking her time? Um, no, I think they're just stealthy. Okay. Well, that worked really well for her. <laughs> Man, with all this snow, I want to sing. So, also, see all the giant ice blocks that were in this area? They're gone now. Oh. So, I don't have any cover anymore. Take cover. You don't have it. Think of, uh, are you thinking of any, like, popular Disney movies right now? Oh, I might be. Okay. Likes. <laughs> Move on. So, I was thinking Snow White. <laughs> okay, I hit those guys, so they should, yeah, they should. You are dead. So your armor looks cool now that it's all like bluish, because now your hat, your cap doesn't stand out as much. You know, you, you know what? What I would really like in this game, if we're talking armor, I think we might have talked about the dies. Actually, dies, yeah. yeah. Like it would be awesome to be able to dye a piece of your armor colors and just have like full customization. It would be cool to modify your character's hair once you're already in game. Yeah. Because let's face it, over time, hair grows. You can, <laughs> you can modify your gender. In game? With the gender change coffin, yeah. Just, and can you use it repeatedly? Or is it like a one yeah, you can use it repeatedly. Well, is that like, did I ever talk about that on how I destroyed my Fable 2 game? Yeah, you did. Yeah. Like, you didn't realize it was permanent. You're just I like, didn't think it was permanent. I'm like, oh, I wonder what I'm gonna what this character would look like as a man. Oh, it would look dumb. Oh, I can't change this back. I'm never playing Fable 2 again. Like, did your character look dumb? Yeah. And it wasn't it, like, as soon as you drink it, it auto-saves? Yeah. Yeah. Which, because my thought was, I could drink this and then just go back. Which, like, you should have, like, understood the disclaimer before you did that, though. Because they make it pretty, like, plain that you can't undo it. Well, it's dumb. I don't under... What's the point of an auto-saving? Oh, you have to make this change for some reason. You don't have to, but once you do, it's done. Think, think, well, I mean, think about it in real life. Do you really like? Well, in real life, you can't drink a sex change potion no, either, Chicho. But you get it whacked off, and they kind of scoop you out a little and fold some skin over, and you got a sex change, buddy. <laughs> and, uh, it took a weird turn. <laughs> okay. Oh, look, I got his rapier. Uh, which actually might be okay with his character, because he's a magic guy. Rapier. Like what Nicki Minaj does to the ears of our youth. Rapiers. Just kidding. Come on, buddies. Actually, you know what? This is one of the few times I actually can run through. Your Estes flask looks very orange in this backdrop of ice. Go, claw method. But your Estes glows, does it not? Uh, kind of, yeah. You could use that as a light source in very dark places, technically. Yay, so this is one of the new areas that I've got. Oh. Bye. Yay, new area. Do the elevator shuffle. This is also going to be the introduction of some new enemies. Remember wheel skeletons? Yes. Remember how they're not really a threat in these games? In Dark Souls 2, at least? In Dark Souls 2, they're not bad. In Dark Souls 1, they're kind of threatening. Uh -huh. These guys are the new wheel skeletons. These guys actually are really threatening. Spiky rabbit rodents? Hedgehogs. Ice hedgehogs. They hurt you if you touch them, first of all. And they do a mean roll. Because it really tracks you a whole bunch. I shouldn't have too much trouble with these guys. But um, they hurt you if you touch them. Which includes hitting them with a weapon. Really? Yes. Mm. So, kind of uh, annoying. That doesn't make any sense. You were fighting other dudes that were spiky and you didn't take damage when you hit them. 
and you have to fight them in this stupid area with all these pillars. Which is horrible for magic casting, unless you're Woody. <sighs> unless you have... It's not, it's not too bad, yeah. Yeah, no, I went through with a, on like, on my first guy who has a halberd for my main weapon, and these guys weren't paid to fight with him, because halberds are slow, <laughs> and a lot of the time, like, you'd go to hit one, and by the time your animation is done, they're, like, hitting you. Hexar Nikolai. Nikolai or Nikolai? Ricola. Hexar Ricola. Oh. Dude. It's not the typical black and the red outline, it's red. No, that's what they always look like. Get it out in the open, man. Wow, this guy's really resistant to magic. Whew. That would have burned. Dude, I'm so happy that magic isn't like a real thing. Because I have this scar on my arm that's seriously two months old. Yeah. From my arm just barely touching a skillet when I was cooking bacon one morning. <laughs> if I was taking the fireball to the chest. Oh, you dick. He healed? Yeah. Look what's that? A miracle. There's a bunch of healing miracles. You need to get in on that. Buddy. Oh, and he hit me with something that slowed me, too. Backstab him. Oh, those like some going dark for. magic meatballs. Jeez, I didn't realize you were gonna lose to an NPC. He's gotta run out of casts eventually, right? No, they have infinite casts. Isn't that nice? <laughs> Very nice. Invader banish. Dick. I withdraw my statement. <laughs> Gonna die to some NPC. <laughs> I think that insult is what got you through. <laughs> so you're welcome. It's the Ice Queen! Whoa. These are actually enemies that are in the base game, we just haven't seen them yet. Yeah. They're like tree slug creatures. Icy pokey. They actually are trees. It's like the Taco Bell dog. Got iced over. Yeah, like, if that hits you when you have low stamina, it'll pretty much kill you. Because they just keep rolling into you and stunning you. Mm -hmm. So it's really hard to get out of. Now, there is a specific... Do they just keep rolling? Keep rolling, 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 rolling. They're like what? the infinite energy source we've always been looking for. <laughs> Just stick some of those ice hedgehogs in a perpetual motion machine. And put some of them, put them in a blender, and you got slush puppies. Okay, this is what I was looking for. Yay, bonfire! Oh, we're, we're still going. Okay. Yeah, we're still going. Okay, excellent. So yeah, these guys are mages. <laughs> if if it was not obvious. <laughs> you know, something I've never done with this guy, too. The max Estus flasks are 12. And you have 10. He's not actually waving at you, is he? What? Oh. Really? So, I can target this guy. Yeah. That means he's hostile, but he looks like a white phantom. Totally. Do you recognize him? From... The last DLC, as um, Invader we might have had, that was noted to be kind of a dick. And use uh, maybe tactics that aren't so fun. No. You have to refresh my memory. This is Maldrone the Assassin. Okay. This was the guy we fought in that giant tower of curse. Oh. That ran away from us. Yeah. There, he is actually using all real items right now. Like and he, has an, he has a ring on that makes him look like a white phantom. He is trying to trick us right now. Because basically, if we walk away, he'll run up behind us and backstab me, probably. Uh huh. And also, you will note, he's not going to let me circle around to backstab him. He's basically waiting for me to attack. Will he not attack until you do? 
Um, no, he will eventually go. Like, he'll basically, he waits for me to do something, and then he'll try and kill me. Yeah, so why don't you just get the first hit on him? I plan to. Well, that didn't work. Wow. Now, is that a rapier or a lance? That's a lance. Okay. He is lancing you, dude. Lances are good uh, weapons versus players. Um, they really eat through walking and shields. Until you do that, though. Bam! Uh, do they eat up your stamina a lot? Like, do you have that weapon? Um, not on this character. You generally need pretty high stats. Oh, and see, look, he's running away right now to go heal. He's a dick, this guy. <laughs> he's a dick, but he's a dick in, like, a very player logic way. Uh -huh. He's like a fly. They'll buzz around your head, and then they'll fly away. And they'll come back. So is he behind you at right now, or is he out here? I think he ran out and dropped down. Yes, he's down there. Like, I don't have to actually kill him, but... Because it's weird, too, because tech the game does kind of cheat to have this encounter. He's not actually an invader. He counts as just, like, a normal enemy. Because you don't get, like, an invasion message for him or anything. Right. So, uh, I'm just gonna leave. I don't know if he follows me in here, but... But we still have to fight any something, don't we? Oh yeah, he is gonna follow. Wait, what do you mean we still have to are, fight? Are, are you planning on like? Are you leaving the? No oh, wait, no, we're not leaving the DLC. We we, we have to recruit all those soldiers. That's yeah, we have doing. to. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Oh wow. Go away, Maldrone. Don't even, yeah, it's, uh, it's hard follow. timings. Can you just run away, or are you going to face more NPCs oh, down there? So I was going to Carissa burn at me. Oh. <laughs> There's a mini-boss up ahead, uh -huh. so I kind of don't want to fight him with a the mini-boss there. Will, will any of the uh, enemies engage him? No. Of course not. No, if I... Remember the item I used against him that first time, that Seed of a Tree of Giants? Uh -huh. That will actually... um. Since he, like I said, he's got weird stats for this fight, so he counts as a normal enemy. So he wouldn't be, like, aggroed by that. Dude, you gotta just lose him. I don't think I can, because I think he's just gonna follow me until I die. He has high poise, too, like, you can't. Yeah. Knock him down. Except for when you do that, obviously. <laughs> ah. That sucks. That back to back. To back. Oh, you dick! I know I just healed too, but. God! Asshole! I hate this guy! I hate him in the best way, because he's such a dick. Like, he's... Do you think he's playing as well as a player? Or just, um, not like, like as well as a player. Um, t if this guy was a player, he would have killed me by now. He's running down into the boss room. Dang, son. So you can block that attack all the way. So why is it doing damage on other times you don't get your uh, Because I'm trying enough. to roll. Like, I know you guys are both strategy. about, like, half health, but he's made you, like, use up all your Estus, basically. Because once I kill him, he's gone forever. Oh, okay. So, it do doesn't you, really... Do you get at least good deck, er, souls? No, I just need to kill him to get through this area. You're out. Nice. See, now that he's put some distance between the two of you... Got him. 
You suck, Malgrone. But I love you. <laughs>